What's up, people? You know who it is. It's your man, Urban Lover, coming from your mama's basement, baby. Slow motion, nothing going on. But anyway, just want to jump back into the free agent um, series. And th what this one is going to basically be about um, Chandler Parson. Now, keep in mind, this guy came from Houston, you know what I mean? He um, left Houston, you know, for Dallas for more money. Um, Dallas, you know, gave him a nice size contract. He opt out. So before I even get into him, I'm going to read what the analysts have to say about him at CBS. All right. Two major knee injuries should be considered first and foremost. Chandler Parson will be 28 next season. So you're not signing a spring chicken. And yet he shot a career high from the field in three point range. And his per 100 possession numbers were high or right in line or better than his career figures. Athletic and versatile, able to run an offense on his own as well as operate as tip of the spear. Will act as a free agent recruiter, great cutter, great spot up shooter. Able to pump fake and drive and manage to be aggressive without hijacking the offense. Solid defensively, there are no clear weaknesses. If you're ready to win now and in need of a small four, he's likely to mark his best value. Behind Kevin Durant, that is. Now, the only biggest problem, before I get into that, you know, they said um, Dallas, Orlando, Golden State, and New York are, are the, you know, the teams that, you know, that he'll likely fit. But I, I got to um, add something in there, too. Now... Mark Cuban said that he would like to bring, you know, Parson back. He actually told Parson not to opt out, but, you know, Parson. Parson is about money. I mean, if you actually follow him on Twitter or you just basically do some research on him, he is about money. He already said that he's looking to get 22 mil. He think he deserves 22 mil. So he's letting you know he's about money. Now, I'm not saying the dude can't ball. I would never say that because before his injury, the dude can ball. The only thing that's really hurting him is his injury. He's a good player, you know, for his size. And the dude... Once he was healthy last year, at two months going into the playoff, the dude shot 47.7% behind the three-point arc. And he shot 51.9% from the field. He averaged uh, over 20 points in over 19 games. And the dude was playing power forward sometimes too. Um, like I said in the day, you know, Dallas is more focused on Dwight Howard and Michael, I mean, not Dwight Howard, I'm sorry. Dallas is more focused on uh, Hassan Whiteside and Michael Conley. And then they said, you know, they would like to re-sign Parson. But, you know, like I said, Parson's not going to take that, that lesser money. He wants a big contract. And I know I said it before and I said it again. I mean, back then, yeah, I, I was a – before they – actually before the CBA um, bargain went up, I was real heavy on him coming to L.A. before we got Ingram. This was like last year, I believe. You know what I mean? But like I said today, now, will I give him $22 million for, you know, for the price that he think he deserved? No, not at this time, only because of injuries. I know that it went up, but I think that he should at least play one year. Like, like say, for instance, he should get, like, a four-year deal. Like, the first year should be, like, uh, 15, 16 million, right? Then the next year is, like, an optional year where if he is healthy, you know, play, like, at least 70 games the, um, that, that year, then the next year, you know, his contract was based on him being healthy, like, 20 million. I had to have some stipulation in that contract. I can't see a guy, you getting a guy 22 million and he's hurt two straight seasons. And then the third season, he might get hurt again. You never know. I mean, like, if you're, I mean, if you're a team that's really needing of help, will you pay him that type of money? I mean, I'm not saying that the guy's not deserving of it because, like I said, he can ball. But right now, at this point in time, I don't. I, as a GM, I wouldn't give him that money. Um, a couple of teams that are actually looking at him is um, the Blazers definitely want. The Blazers are definitely looking at him. Um, they're real high on him. The Celtics and Orlando, all three of these teams are real high on him. Then you got um, Houston, the Nets. The Knicks, I think the Knicks probably wouldn't mind him coming off the bench because, you know, he's not starting off with Camelo. Um, the Lakers, too, and you got Nuggets and you got OKC. The only way OKC is looking at him is if they lose Kevin Durant, which would kind of make pretty much sense for them because they lose Durant. If Parson stays healthy, Parson will fit right in where Kevin Durant left off. You know what I mean? And Parson a little bit more physical down low, too. I got to say that much with him between him and Kevin Durant, and the dude can shoot. So they wouldn't really be losing a step if they get Parson. The only thing about it, can he stay healthy? You know what I mean? That's the biggest thing, you know what I mean? So... At the end of the day, um, Houston, they definitely need a small forward, but will he want to go back to Houston? He didn't have a problem with Houston. It's just the point that they didn't want to pay him. So now are they willing to pay the $22 million? Never know, man. Like I said, they may go once again. It's, um, you know, Hassan Whiteside, some of the other big guys out there. And if they don't get him, then they might go at the Parson. But will he be still left on the table for them? The Nets, I don't think the Nets can afford him right now, man. Like I said, they're like bargain basement uh, um, team, man. I mean, my gosh. I, I hang them up. Knicks. That's if he want to come off the bench. Do he want to come off the bench? I don't know, man. I think 
Parsons like one of the guys. He might be a Kobe. You know, he got a lot of pride. I don't think he want to come off the bench. I think he want to start. Any any player, if you plan to pay a twenty two million, most likely twenty two million is not coming off the bench material unless you're a six man, and you actually dominate. But if you are just a, a bench player coming off the, I mean, a player coming off the bench for twenty two million, nah, that that won't be happening, man. Like I said, unless you're a six man. Um, the Lakers, the Lakers, I don't think the Lakers probably will give him twenty two million. I don't know. I mean, they do say they need leadership role, so. I think if the KD um, sweet states don't pick up for them, because they so high on Hassan, and you know, and they definitely want to see KD. If they don't get KD, they might go after um, Chandler Parson, man. They were looking at him. If you think about it, they, Lakers were looking at him. Um, what was it? Like last year? Or something like that. I forgot when, but the Lakers were looking at him a while back, too. But, you know, I know it was the year when he um, signed with Dallas um, a couple years ago. So they actually can go after him if they want to. You know what I mean? But. You know, then I guess what well, Ingram will be pushed to the two, and then you can put Parson at the three, and JC come off the bench. It's certain dynamics that you can play with. That'd be a big front line, my gosh. But you know, that's what Lakers can do. And also, like I said, the Nuggets, the Nuggets definitely use them. But they got the nice guy down there, at small forward. I forgot his name, but he's pretty decent. But they could use him as well. Now he's he's not gonna play power forward. I mean, he probably wouldn't mind. But you know, I mean, he's more he's more better at the small forward at the stretch four. I mean, I'm sorry, more better at the small forward, not the stretch four. So you got, like I said, you got the Celtics. The Celtics definitely can use them because they definitely need somebody who can help, um, you know, help carry the load over there in that team, you know, with um, Isaiah Thomas. So he would definitely fit in Boston. And Orlando, they definitely can use him, um, you know, but does he want to go to Orlando? It depends. Like I said, you know, he can definitely get a starting spot there. You know what I mean? And the, the Blazers, like I said, the Blazers are real high on him. That combo with him, Collins and freaking um, um, Lillard, oh, my gosh, man. That, 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 that'd be too much right there. You know, you have to call the police on them guys, man, because there's just too much shooting going on down there. Now, if we go to Blazers, I don't know, man. Like I said, these are the teams that are looking at him. It's totally up to um, Parson. He definitely won a max contract. He's not going to take nothing less than that. He might, depending on the team outlook, he might take 18. But he's saying this is in, in his camp, they're, they're talking about 22 mil. But I'm looking at right now, 18 mil. I mean, that's what I'm thinking right now. Between 18 and 22 mil, they can come to some type of agreement. But I don't see, like I said, I don't see nobody giving them 22 mil. I mean, then again, you never know. You know, you got teams out there that are definitely looking for a star player. And they probably wouldn't mind, you know, signing them. So, like I said, the dude can ball. He shot almost 50% from the three-point arc in the last two months. My gosh, man. Oh, my goodness. I think, oh, man, I, I hate to say it, man, but I can see them Lakers trying to go after him. They can't get Kevin, um, Kevin Durant. I mean, shucks, man. The guy shooting that good. Just imagine him and uh, freaking um, Ingram. Ingram at the freaking two. I know a lot of people say they don't want him this and that, but we got to look at the whole scenario. Like I said, you only got Nicholas Batum, and Nicholas Batum definitely, you know, talk to the Lakers too. That's not guaranteed we're going to get him, but you got Nicholas Batum talking to L.A. You, I mean, you got players out there that can actually fit L.A. L.A. got, like I said, they got 70 million sitting on the table. They can play whatever they want to play with. They can get who they choose to get if they're willing to. But it's all about if the players want to come to L.A. and play in L.A. So we'll see. But right now, like I said, it's, it's all up in the air with um, Chandler Parson. Um, Dallas definitely won him back, but they're not looking to pay him 22 mil. You know, they're not looking to give him a max contract. Like I said, Hassan and uh, Mike Conley are their are two big options right now that they're trying to get. And don't be surprised, man, um, if Mike Conley boot and go to Dallas. I mean, you know, it can happen, you know, especially if they get Hassan Whiteside. Anything can happen. So, you know, right now, Fred is about to hit in a couple days. It's going to be a good thing to see where these players are going. Don't get your hopes up high on a lot of these players. But be happy for what you got and just build around what you got. That's all I got to say for all y'all NBA fans. I'm trying to give y'all some option of where some of these players are going to go. Um, if y'all have any other um, um, solutions or where y'all think these players are going to go as well, jump in the comment section and uh, let's discuss. You know, um, I'd like to hear what you guys got to say. With that being said, it's your man Urban Lover. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out.